Hi there! In this pandemic, learning should never stop. Today, we will be discussing the first topic in grade 9 mathematics, and that is what do we call as quadratic equation. What is quadratic equation? And how does it differ from a linear equation? We will find out only here in Solve It with Sir Jude. For your first question, what is quadratic equation? Uh -oh. And what are the things to remember in the unit? Ito na nga yung ating first lesson which is known as Quadratic equation. Ito ay nakabase sa most essential learning competency na binigay ng Department of Education for the school year 2020-2021. So the objectives of this lesson will be, the first one is to illustrate quadratic equations. So ano ba yung quadratic equations talaga? Ano nga ba pinagkaiba ni quadratic equation kay linear equation? And then the second one, we need to identify the parts of quadratic equation. Meron yung corresponding parts. Bawat terms may tawag. Ano ang tawag? Let us find out later. And then, for the third one, we need to identify the values of A, B, and C. So let us start. So by the way, this is based on the curriculum guide code M9AL1A. Okay? A quadratic equation to formally define it is a mathematical statement with a polynomial of degree 2, meaning that the highest exponent is 2. That can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. For a, b, and c are real numbers, and a should not be equal to 0. Now, why is it that we need to consider this restriction that a should not be equal to 0? Bakit daw si a? Bawa siya maging 0. Because if we will imagine, if we will substitute or replace 0 dito kay A, ano magiging sagot? Or magiging result? So that will be 0x squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If we are going to simplify 0x squared, 0 times x squared, that will become 0. So anong matidala sa equation natin? So that will be bx plus c is equal to 0, which is not anymore a quadratic equation. But it is called as a linear equation. Sabi nga sa inyo nung grade 8 kayo na ang linear equation ay isang equation with a polynomial with a degree 1. Okay? So, yun yung pinagkaiba ni linear kay quadratic. Kaya, yung restriction na A should not be equal to 0, hindi yun kailangan tanggalin. Because that will make the quadratic equation unique from other equations. Okay, so let us proceed. So, the standard form of a quadratic equation, para malaman natin na ang isang quadratic equation ay nasa standard form na, kailangan ganito yung form. That will be ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Yung ax squared, or the first term, yung term na may exponent na 2, that will be called as our quadratic term. Sa quadratic term, may kita rin natin doon yung value ni a. That is actually the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. Ano naman si bx? Si bx, ang tawag natin dyan ay linear term. Kay linear term, makikita naman natin ang value b. It is the numerical coefficient of our linear term. And then the last one, the last part of a quadratic equation written in standard form is the value of c. And c stands for the constant term. So, para mag-evaluate natin or para makuha natin yung values ni A, B, and C, kailangan we should see to it that the quadratic equation is written in its standard form AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to 0. Look at the mathematical statements given. Sino nga ba sa kanila ang quadratic equation? At sino ang hindi? Let us find out one by one. Dadako na tayo sa ating sample set 1. 
the sample set 1, we need to determine if the following statements are quadratic equations or not. Okay? So we are given with four examples. So let us have it one by one. So the first one is given by c is equal to 12n minus 5. So the first thing that we should consider when we are to identify quadratic equations from not, ang una kailangan equation siya. So, kailangan may equal sign. So, obviously, si number 1 may equal sign. So, therefore, equation siya. Pangalawa, kailangan ang highest exponent or the degree of the polynomial is 2. Dito sa example number 1, ano ba ang degree niya? So, the answer is 1. So, therefore, this is not a quadratic equation. But we can call it as a linear equation. Okay? So let us now proceed with example number 2. So for example number 2, we are given with 2a squared minus 3a minus 1. First condition, kailangan may equal sign. So obviously, si number 2, wala siyang equal sign. So therefore, it is not an equation. But we can call it as an expression. Okay? But if you will see, meron siyang quadratic term. The quadratic term here is 2a squared. So therefore, this number 2 is not a quadratic equation, but it is a quadratic expression. Okay? Then, siya quadratic equation. Next, let us proceed with number 3. So, for number 3, we are given with x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. Is this a quadratic equation? Number 1, kailangan may equal sign siya para maging equation siya. So, obviously, meron siyang equal sign dito. So therefore, it is an equation. Next, the second one. Kailangan ang degree niya ay 2. O ang highest exponent niya ay 2. So if you can see, we have here x squared. So therefore, this is a quadratic equation. And the value of a here, ay yung katabi ni x squared. Sir, wala naman pong katabi si x squared dito. So it is automatic na pagka walang katabi, 1 yan. So therefore, the value of A here is 1. Next, what is the value of B? Si B ay matatagpuan katabi ni X or nasa linear term. So therefore, the value of B here is negative 5. And then for C, so that is the constant, so we have it as C. So kung mapapansin natin, nakuha agad natin si A, B, and C dahil yung quadratic equation natin ay written in standard form. So, it is a quadratic equation. Next, number 4. We are given with r squared is equal to 144. Now, is it a quadratic equation? So, obviously, it is a quadratic equation kasi may equal sign na siya at the same time, meron pa siyang quadratic term. Ano yung quadratic term niya? So, that will be r squared. So, for this case, in malalaman kung ano yung values ni A, B, and C immediately because it is not yet written in its standard form. So, ang goal kasi natin for sample set number 1 is to determine kung ano na yung quadratic equation. So, for this one, sample set number 2, kailangan naman natin mag write ng quadratic equations into standard form. Tingnan naman natin ang mga example na ito. Alin sa kanila ang considered as quadratic equation at alin ang hindi? Let us discuss them one by one. Let us now discuss sample set number two. So number one, we are given with 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. So kung mapapansin natin, para masabi natin na ang isang quadratic equation ay written in standard form, kailangan naka-arrange na siya in a manner of quadratic term first, followed by the linear term, and followed by the constant term. So kung mapapansin natin dito sa equation na ito, naka-arrange na siya. So therefore, no need to simplify the equation. So we can immediately get the values of a, b, and c out of this given quadratic equation. So what is the value of a in this equation? Take note na ang value ni a is the numerical coefficient of our quadratic term. So that will be positive 2. Next, how about the value of b? 
So the value of B again is the numerical coefficient of our linear term. So in this case, the value of B is positive 5. And then the last one is the value of C or the constant term. So we are given with this equation, the value of C is positive 3. So let us now go to the second example. Second example, we are given with 10 minus 4x plus 3x squared is equal to 0. So katulad nga na sinabi ko kanina, para maging quadratic equation written in standard form, kailangan quadratic term muna followed by the linear term followed by the constant term. So kung mapapansin natin sa equation na ito, kailangan pa natin siyang i-arrange. Okay? So, Paano natin siya i-arrange? Ililipat lang natin si 3x squared o yung quadratic term sa unahan. Kasama yung sign niya. Okay? And then, followed by the linear term. Ang linear term natin ay negative 4x. So, mananatili siya sa gitna. And then, the constant term is positive 10. Dala niya yung positive sign niya doon sa dulo ng term. So, therefore, ang ating standard form will be 3x squared minus 4x plus 10 is equal to 0. Since ang ating quadratic equation is already written in standard form, we can now get the values of A, B, and C. The value of A here is positive 3. The value of B is negative 4. And the value of C is positive 10. So now, let us proceed with the third example. So for our third example, we are given with 4x multiplied by the binomial x plus 1 is equal to negative 2. So, kung mapapansin natin, kailangan muna natin isimplify ang ating equation para maging standard form. So, the first thing that we should do is to apply distributive property. Didistribute natin si 4x doon sa mga terms inside the parentheses. So, if that will be the case, so si 4x times x muna. So, the answer is 4x squared. Followed by 4x times positive 1, we have positive 4x equals negative 2. So, kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong isa pang term na nasa kabilang side ng equation. So, that is the time that we will be applying our addition property. Or, kailangan natin inipat si negative 2 doon kasama ni quadratic term at ni linear term. So, ito yung alam natin na transpose. Itatranspose yung negative 2 sa kabilang side. Kapag ka nagkaganon, mag-iiba lang ang side. So, the equation will be 4x squared plus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. Pero kung mapapansin natin, lahat ng terms ay divisible by 2. So, by dividing them by 2, we can have the final equation as 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, what is the value of A here? The value of A is positive 2. The value of B is positive 2. And the value of C is positive 1. We will now go with the last example. The last example is given by the binomial 2x plus 5 multiplied by the other binomial x minus 1 is equal to 6. So, again, Katulad ng ginawa natin sa item number 3, we will be simplifying item number 4. But this time, hindi na distributive property ang gagamitin natin. But we will be using the famous FOIL method. So, the, the first thing that we should do is to multiply the first term. So, that is F in the FOIL method. The first term in the first binomial is 2x. And the first term on the second binomial is x. So, 2x times x, that will be hmm, 2x squared. Correct. Next, we will now go with the outer terms. So, that will be, for the first binomial, we have the term 2x. For the second binomial, we have the term negative 1. So, 2x times negative 1, we have it as negative Next, let us now go with the inner terms. So, the first term is positive 5. The second term is x. 
So that will be 5 times x. The answer will be 5x. Next, the last terms. So that will be 5 multiplied by negative 1. Positive 5 times negative 1, we have it as negative 5. Making our equation as 2x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 5 is equal to 6. Take note that we need to combine similar terms. May similar terms dyan. What are those similar terms? We have their negative 2x and positive 5x. So if we are going to add negative 2x plus 5x, we have it as positive 3x. Making the result as 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 is equal to 6. Meron pa siyang term sa kabilang side ng equation. So kailangan si 6 nandun lang sa left side ng ating equation. We need to apply addition property or transpose natin si 6. So if that will be the case, we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 minus 6 is equal to 0. Again, kailangan natin isimplify si negative 5 at si negative 6. So negative 5 plus negative 6, that will give me negative 11. Making our final equation as 2x squared plus 3x minus 11 is equal to 0. Where the value of a is positive 2, the value of b is positive 3, and then the value of c is negative 11. So to sum up this day's discussion, so we talked about quadratic equation. So a quadratic equation, again, it is a mathematical statement with a polynomial of degree 2, meaning that the highest exponent must be 2. And it can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. That is actually our standard form where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. Pinaliwanag natin kanina kung bakit bawal maging 0 si a. Dahil kapag naging 0 si a, magiging linear equation na lang siya. So our quadratic equation has its standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. The first term, ax squared, is also known as the quadratic term. So sa quadratic term, may kita natin yung value ni a. Next, bx is actually called as our linear term. And in our linear term, makikita naman natin yung value ni b. And then for the last one, the last part of a quadratic equation, it is the constant term, which is c. So, ah! Ganun pala yun. Ngayon na lang ko na kung yung quadratic equation. Thank you, Sir Jude. Bye!